So I've been freelancing for over six years and I've learned so many tips and tricks along the way and I've made the mistakes and I want to share with you some tips, especially when you're freelancing as a logo designer that can really help you. The fact is freelancing is a saturated market. There's so many platforms now, there's so many people doing it from all around the world and because of technology, it's made it a lot easier. So I want to help you by you know putting the energy in the right places to help you long term. So here are six tips when doing logo design as a freelancer and working with clients that can help you. So number one, always start a with a discovery session. Don't just start with a logo design with basic minimal information. You need to ask questions, you need to ask why, you need to ask their background, their story, their, their goals, their mission. Those things are important. So always start with a discovery session and talk to the client on the phone over Zoom. Number two, avoid freelance sites like Upwork and Fiverr and 99 Designs. Instead, try and direct that energy into working for a family or a friend or a local business. So actually go talk to local businesses, ask them if they have work or ask a small agency if they have um, work they can offload to you. Number three is always take 50% upfront before doing any work because you can get those bad clients that will try and mess you up and run with your money. And the thing is, you don't want to start working and maybe you need to buy a font or maybe you need to buy a certain um, pack. You know, you don't want to not have that money ready to, to buy for that project. So, you know, always make sure that you get paid first. Number four, make a logo package. Don't just do a logo by itself, right? So. One of the things is that you can add different elements. So include a style guide. It can be one or two pages. It doesn't have to be very long. Include a, an icon and a fab icon so for the website or like a badge or a seal version. Include horizontal vertical versions. Include all the file formats that they need. The design rights. Include maybe a pattern, colors, typography. Try and pack as much into that thing as you can. Number five is have two to three concepts. That should be more than enough to be able to accomplish the goal or the solution. Don't try and do six, eight concepts with like 20 revisions. That's just bad business. You know, make sure you just do two to three. That's completely fine. Number six is do a recording of how to use the files, what's inside the files and the folders. And I use Loom for that. And I can just send a link via the email to my client as I send a logo presentation to really show them how to use it. And that really helps them out. It shows you um, as more professional as well. And just guides the client because you're the expert. You're meant to help and guide the client. Not You're not just a monkey trying to do work, Pick, uh, be a pixel pusher, right? So I hope these tips helped. Freelancing is all about evolving and growing and try and grow from a just a logo designer to become a, a full brand identity designer because you can offer more services, more solutions, and you can scale your business up because at the end of the day, a logo, is not the biggest problem a company has. You need, you need to get into strategy and business and, and doing brand identities because that's really gonna help them in the long run and also marketing and other elements. But yeah, that's just my opinion on that. And then you can also charge more and you can be able to create more value for the client because you can help them in a bigger scale. So those are my thoughts. I hope you liked the video. Smash the like button if you like this type of freelance type of content and I can be able to create more Remember to subscribe for more design and branding content every week. Stay creative and I'll catch you next time.